Hi, I'm Dick Bonner with Digistar. We're going to just show how to take a proper sample with the moisture tracker unit. So to start out with, um, anytime you're taking a sample and you're at a bunker or a pile and it's, it's more than six or eight feet high, again, you just want to practice good bunker safety and you want to make sure that your pile is pushed away uh, the appropriate distance from the face. Um, a couple tools that you might want to have handy uh, when you're taking samples. Number one would be a stiff bristle brush. Um, occasionally if you have wet feed, sticky feed like some halages, it will stick to the screen and you could have a piece that sticks in front uh, that would continually be in front getting scanned. You, it's not a bad idea to just have a stiff bristle brush so you can uh, quickly and easily brush the screen off and keep it nice and clean. Uh, another tool that you might want to have is some kind of a rake a device uh, just as you're walking along the pile to rake down and get at the moist feed underneath so that you're not sampling the dry feed that's on top. So with that I'm just going to start taking my scans. I've got um, my device set at 20 scans per sample. If you're, t if you're testing a feed that's more variable like say a, a coarsely chopped corn silage that's, that's dry um, and, and going to have more variability in it or a mixture of like alfalfa and grass haylage. Um, we would recommend that you increase the number of scans up to 25 or 30 so it's going to increase your accuracy on your results. So I'm ready to start taking my scans and what I want to do here is again just rake down to get to the moist feed place the device against the feed. I don't have to apply any pressure. I just want to push it up against the feed so that it's uh, blocking out any external light from affecting the readings. And I hold it against the feed and pull the trigger and you'll hear a beep and you'll see the number advance on the screen and then you can lift it up and move to the next spot. And again, I just want to be careful not to lift the device too soon so that I'm taking a scan while it's in the air. If I were to do that and say I, I pull the trigger and lift it and I hear the beep when it's in the air, I know that's probably going to be an erroneous reading and I can, I can back that out by just pressing on the, the uh, orange X and now that'll back that reading out and it won't use it in that sample. And when I get to the last, the last scan, whether it be 20 or 25 or 30, um, instead of one beep you're going to hear two beeps and then it will give you your readout. So there I've got my two beeps and as you can see now it gives me my reading in both dry matter and moisture percent.